Joran Nieberg, the recently appointed president of sales and marketing with Volvo Trucks North America, brings to the position an interesting background. He cut his teeth in the trucking business as a log truck driver in northern Sweden. Since then, he's held various positions with Volvo around the world, including, as he says, pretty much every job there is to hold within a Volvo dealership. Given this background, it's no surprise that bolstering Volvo's dealer network will be one of Joran's priorities as he settles into his new position as president. We caught up with Joran at Volvo's Greensboro, North Carolina headquarters for a three-part interview on this and other subjects. Now, Joran, you come to North America by way of the United Kingdom, but even before that, you started off as a driver. Can you tell us a little bit about your background and how you got started in the industry? Yeah, um, I come from the northern part of Sweden, a, a town called Sundsvall, uh, which is mainly, the main industry is, is logging related, so uh, uh, it was natural to get in touch with the with the logging industry and it was uh, a quick way to get into a job and driving trucks. I've always been interested in, in, in vehicles so uh, I did that for a few years as a living and it took me through through my studies when I took my end, uh, degree in engineering. So uh, I was going to become an engineer for the rest of my life but um, that career lasted a year mm -hmm. and then I was back to trucks again. That experience you did have as a driver behind the wheel, does that benefit you today in any way? I believe so. I know the trucking environment and uh, I know how important it is uh, to have, have a driver environment that, that uh, fulfills the needs of the drivers and uh, to have a, a good truck to be productive in. And um, I, I think I respect the workplace that the drivers has. So your background is, uh, well you have quite the global background, most recently in, in the UK. So you've seen a lot of technology that's pretty mainstream there that's just now becoming popular here like disc brakes and automated transmissions. Yeah. Do you think um, your first impressions of the North American market, are we a little slow to pick up on some of these things? Or? No, I, I, I must say I, I'm, I'm impressed of the North American market, both for volumes and, and speed on the roads, uh, as well uh, as, as uh, I think it's a technology-driven market, but uh, of course with other prerequisites than many other markets in the world. Uh, looking at the, the, the highways and uh, the speed that the trucks are traveling in here, uh, I have respect for that with the distance you need to, to do per day. Uh, of course, puts a different set of demands on the truck. One of the big challenges of North America is just the size of it geographically. Yeah. And you've got a pretty substantial dealer network, but do you think, is it good enough? What needs to be done on the, on the dealer side of the business to serve this, this whole industry? Uh, to, I would say a strong dealer network is one of the important cornerstones for, for having a successful business. And I'm, I'm quite proud of the, of the Volvo dealer network today. We have some 350 rooftops uh, covering the country and uh, just to let you know, over the last 24 months we have increased our bay capacity in the dealer network with 20%, which quite, is quite impressive. And uh, having dealers, uh, franchise holders that is investing in our business tells me two things. They, st they believe in the industry, they believe in the Volvo franchise, uh, and, and they are willing to spend their money uh, on their franchises. So I, I feel quite uh, good about uh, the setup we have. We can always get better, but uh, we, uh, we are definitely in a good place. 